If you have clicked on this video, you already are aware of the effectiveness and the capability of the software Notion. It has been in my life for five to six years now and it has completely changed the way I work, the way I have made making money, the way I'm running my business and the way I am running this YouTube channel. And I would not be over exaggerating when I say it has completely changed my life. But there is one huge problem with Notion. It has way too many useful tools and features. So many useful features that it becomes a little intimidating for anyone who is getting started in Notion. And the intimidation only grows when you see people like me using templates like this. This is the content brain. This is a template made by my own hands. And I use this to plan, track and execute everything related to my social media, even my creator led businesses. As you can see, it is very descriptive and might also look a little too complex, but it fits in perfectly into my workflow and makes my life 10 times Easier. But you are not here for this. I'll talk more about these later, but let's get started about how you can get started with Notion. First things first, you need to open your browser and go ahead and type Notion download. For Windows or for Mac, you can just go for here, like Notion for desktop, or you can go here and download it for Windows. If you're on a Mac, it will show download for Mac. You can just click on download and follow the simple installation process. It's just a setup file. Now, when you open Notion for the first time, you will probably look at a blank page like this, or it might have some tutorial elements. You don't really need to worry about those, but considering you have a page like this, let's get started and get familiar with the layout, right? Initially, your Notion might also look like this. That is on the default light theme of Notion that I personally do not use. I have not seen any person who uses this. So you can just come over down. This is the sidebar and uh, here you can access your favorites, your workspaces, your team spaces, your shared pages and your private pages, everything from here. You can collapse this sidebar by clicking on this button or this hamburger menu that brings everything back out. First things first, you go into settings, go into preferences and set the appearance to dark. Whew looks much better puts much less strain on your eyes let's get out of this mood board and get into a new page you can go to private and add a new page right over here i will not get into team spaces and workspaces right now because they are not available for free on the free version of notion so i'm not going to get into that so let's understand what this is this is a new page now anything in a new page inside of notion is built with something called blocks what are blocks Blocks are basically anything and everything that you can customize inside a Notion page. So it can be a piece of text, it can be a heading, it can be an image, can be a link, can be a photo, it can be a table, it can be a database, it can be a button, anything and everything that can be quantized, right? That can be called as a block. Now before getting into blocks, let's set a name for this page. For this, I will say Notion Tutorial. And if you hover over here, you can add an icon to this. I'll probably add anything like uh, this. And then I can also add a cover. And uh, as you see, this is basically a page cover, just like a YouTube banner. I can come over here, change cover to something from Unsplash if I want, like if I want uh, Spectre and Matrix and some movies, Mad Max Fury Road, that works. Or you can upload your own image. You can link any online image to use over here as well. I will upload my own image and uh, we can see Levi Ackerman. It is uploading right now. And once it is uploaded, I can also reposition it. Like if I want this frame or this frame, I think this, this looks more cool. I'll save this position and we can go on to the next part. Now let's talk about blocks and pages. So this whole thing is a page page is basically something that holds a lot of blocks right we can also create another page inside a page but first let's understand how to create blocks you press the slash button on your keyboard and it brings all the different blocks that you can get it is also suggesting me blocks because it knows how i generally write so that is the beautiful thing about notion ai or the use of ai inside of notion it understands how you write it understands how you work and then it suggests things for you as well but here you can see you can add a text a heading different types of heading heading one is the biggest one two is a little smaller three is the smallest you can add a bullet list a numbered list a to-do list toggle list and a lot of different things you can also add media like an image or a video audio code file web bookmark you can add databases as well now databases are something a little more 
advanced i will say and i would not go into databases in this particular video there is also advanced blocks again we are not going to get into these things right now there are inline things there are embeds like if you want a google drive folder to be embedded into your page you can do that you can embed a tweet you can embed a github gist you can embed a github gist a google map a figma and a lot more different things so yeah notion is very powerful guys it can almost get into anything right but first let's get started with some normal text i'll write normal text over here then we might also want a heading right i'll write heading 2 and i'll call this heading 2 example right it's as simple as that now what if i want to change this heading 2 into a heading 1 right there is this six dots icon it can be used for multiple things when you hover over it it shows drag to move or click to open menu i can drag it to move it up and down i can also move it into a different column as well right but i'll just undo that right now but let's try clicking on it you get all the things you can leave a comment on this particular thing you can suggest something you can ask ai to do something i'm not going to go into ai in this particular tutorial you can duplicate it that way, that way we can get another heading to example you can delete it we can also turn it into a heading one right now it is an heading one we can also turn it into heading three or just a plain text we can do all of those things just from this turn into menu right you can make it into a code see that looks cool you can change it from javascript to maybe you can probably change it from javascript to python you can do that as well and you can turn it back into a code see that turned into a code you can turn it back into anything else right now let's look at some other very useful things that i use on a daily basis like a toggle list right you go here you type toggle list and this is basically your toggle list this is uh, item one this is item two and item three and you get these toggle buttons over here you can open each one of them and write things inside description one description two sorry description three see as that simple i think i missed r yep that's one thing there is another type of list multiple types of list that we can create there is one numbered list which comes as one two three right item four item five item six now what if we don't really want to waste this much space we can take all of these three things and put them on the sidebar and take these two and make them on the left column that way we have two columns now you might be thinking why we are wasting this space over here this space over here you can change that as well come over here and you can turn on small text everything will get smaller so that you can have smaller text everywhere and you can also use full width that way the whatever blocks that you are setting inside that particular page will take up the whole width of the page right that is something you can do then there is another thing called bullet list bullet list this is i'll call it spec 1 spec 2 and spec 3 right this is a simple bullet list there is another list that you can create that is a to-do list right task 1 task 2 and task 3 i'll take all three of these put them over here i'll take these two Put them over here and again i've got two columns so that i'm not wasting much space i can essentially take all of these three things and put them here took all of these three things put them over here and i am literally wasting zero space and this check boxes can be ticked so you can literally make a to-do list out of this all right i wouldn't go into much more detail about all of these different blocks but you can literally come here and experiment by yourself this video's main purpose is to get you familiar with the basic use of notion so that you can go ahead you are not intimidated anymore you can get into it with confidence and experiment for yourself now let's look at how we can add images into this it's as simple as typing an image and either you can upload embed a link from unsplash or even a gif from jiffy uh, but i'll just choose to upload right now i'll upload this photo and that particular photo is in that column if you want it to be bigger i can 
pull it over here and it will be taking the whole width because there are basically four invisible columns over here you can either add it to a column or to the whole width over here that is how you add any photo you can also add any video if you want to use maybe a youtube video right let's go to youtube and pick up a video something like the best oh probably this how i pack for a five day work trip or whatever i'll just bring it over here and uh, let's get it somewhere over here i'll just paste the link and you see it asks for different options either you want to mention the video embed the video just the bookmark or a url if i want to mention the video it becomes something like this it is not showing me the url but it is showing the creator and the video name now if i paste it again and create embed the video it will literally make an embedded video player i'll just bring it up into one of the columns so it is a little smaller and i can literally play the video from here as simple as that let's try pasting it once again and has it as a bookmark now it is turned into a bookmark with a photo and with the name and a little bit of the description and the link as well or if i just want the url i can just keep the url no problem now let's talk about sub pages you can get into a new line press slash and write page is as simple as that you write a page and you have a new page i'll write sub page tutorial right and you come over here go back to notion tutorial and now you have a sub page you can create an icon for this that seems very funny to me <laughs> but yeah that is the sub page and that is how you create multiple pages inside one now inside the sub page let's look at some text formatting options you see this thing is bold so whenever you select a piece of text this thing shows up there is one improved writing with ai not going to go into ai right now you can leave a comment on this like very bad writing so that anyone else who is using or you can leave comments for yourself like you need to change this thing you can be like oh write a better title you can write comments like this or there are more things you can do you can change the text into something else right as simple as that you can make it bold you can make it italic underline strike through or make it a piece of code or make it an equation or add a link to this basically like adding a hyperlink or you can change the text color which is something that i want to show right here i'll just get rid of this comment and if i come over here i can pick whatever color i want i generally like to use yellow text because that looks good on the black background or if you don't want the text you can use the yellow background as well keeping the text actually white and changing the look of the background with text also you can get into multiple columns you want this and you want this so i think that wraps up all the basics of notion that you need to know as a beginner to get started using this beautiful piece of software but hold on there is still some very useful tips and tricks that i want to share with you if you are starting out using notion firstly whatever pages are important to you and you want to access them quite regularly you should mark them as favorites so they will show up over here right somewhere over here in your favorites that's one thing you can do you can also share this as a web page to people what do you have to do you come on here and click share you go to publish and you click on publish now this is a web page that other people can come to a lot of people i have seen use notion pages as their portfolios and it looks beautiful because you do not have to make an actual website you can literally unpublish the website from here view the site from here or if you don't want to just share it to the world and want to share it to particular people like if i want to share this to arnav i'll click here or i will add any email i want to share it to and then i can also decide if i want to give full access only editing access only commenting access or only view access to arnav on this part of the page and by sharing the page with edit access or full access from over here essentially multiple people can be working on the same page simultaneously so that's a very good thing when you are working on a group project or something else to be honest now although i have made notion a little bit simpler for you to start off with you can already understand how much more effort it is to actually make a very functional and a very database oriented setup and a template something like this everything in this took me years to learn so you don't have to worry about how a database works what is a lookup what is a roll up how does all of these things work how do you create a button how do you link pages you do not really have to worry about any of that 
because there are free and paid ready-made templates on the internet if you want the templates that i use something like this the content brain the protagonist blueprint the assignment hq the academic weapon all of those amazing templates can be accessed by clicking the first link in the description or going to protagonist syndrome.com but if you want to know more about notion if you are hungry after watching this video like teach me databases and stuff i have a full one hour beginner master class for notion for absolutely free you can access that by clicking the second link in the description it is absolutely free and one hour of pure value if you are starting out with notion thanks a lot for watching today's video and if you want me to make more videos about notion something specific some particular problem or how did i make a particular template let me know in the comments below and i will get that video done as soon as possible see ya